My motivation to get my private pilot's license started relatively early in life. Um, at school, I was a member of the RAF cadets and got to fly chipmunks and bulldogs, which was which was really cool. And then, kind of life just took over, and families, and weddings, and everything that everything that happens kind of throughout your twenties and thirties. Um, then, going back four years ago, my wife was very ill, and and that gave you know an opportunity, if you like, think, to reflect on what I wanted to achieve on life as, as well. You know, life is incredibly precious. And off the back of that, the one thing that I always felt I hadn't fulfilled was my ambition to get my license. So I think sometimes you just have to kind of grasp the nettle and, and go for it. I headed down to my local flight club, which is based out of Bristol Airport. Um, and the rest is history. You know, I've been able to fulfill a, a lifelong dream. So my first solo was at uh, Kendall Airfield, um, now known as Cotswold Airport. It's the former base of the Red Arrow, so there's a nice bit of history to the airfield as well. I had just taken off, we were doing a circuit, so practicing takeoffs and landings, and my instructor Jonathan informed me that on the next one we'd be landing, he'd be jumped out of the aircraft and I would be, um, be flying solo. I think you get a whole heap of emotions when you do your first solo. I was incredibly nervous taxiing out to the, to the runway, and then there's this exhilaration as you kind of take off and you realise that you're piloting the aircraft on your own for the, for the first time. But very quickly in a circuit, you start returning to your checklists, your pre-landing um, actions, and I think that then just collects you in, and that's where the months of training that led up to that moment all just kind of took over. I could subconsciously hear my instructor's voice um, in my head kind of ticking off each item and then before you know it you're on the final approach um, and whilst I said it wasn't the best landing of my life I was on the centre line and all wheels were on the ground and then taxi back in and it, and it felt spectacular. I think the first time you fly the aircraft on your own it is you know, it's exhilarating, there's a real sense of freedom, um, but at the same time you click very quickly into the practices and procedures that you've been learning to get you to that moment. I think one of the things that I felt was the, the aircraft, the weight and the balance of the, the plane feel very different when it's just one body in there. Um, so it took me a couple of minutes just to get used to the, the handling of that feeling a little bit different. And although your instructor isn't in the plane with you on that first solo, I could constantly hear their voice in my mind and we replay all of the circuits that I'd achieved in the, up until that point. Um, and then, then it kind of just takes about it, you're ready. So I didn't celebrate as such following my first solo, but I did get um, a photo of my instructor, the plog from the flight that day, and also the slip from the, the tower at Kemble to kind of capture all of the detail of the, the flight that day. Um, so that hangs on my office wall and is a very nice memory of the achievement.